Good morning, you guys, and welcome to a week in my life vlog, or at least several days in my life. Today is Thursday, March 7th. Ah, not before my alarm, not to brag. I just thought I would turn on the camera. I don't really have many thoughts to share here at the beginning of this. Um, I'm just hoping it's gonna be a productive next few days. Giselle and I are flying to North Carolina here on Sunday, so we have three full days counting today to get our lives together. I need to get back on my workout grind. If you watched my February reset video, um, one of my main goals for February was about like not wanting to get off track with all of my just different goals after traveling or during traveling. So earlier this week, we were in Las Vegas. We went for the Netflix slam tennis tournament between Alcaraz and Nadal. So just like, if you're into tennis, you know, those are just like two incredible players at the moment. And I mean, forever for Nadal. That was the main reason we went. It was really fun. It wasn't like crazy Vegas. We had one, I wouldn't call it a big night, but something I've learned is I am more of a lightweight than ever. I didn't think it was possible. And then in Vegas, I had two cocktails one night and then a beer. Again, over the span of like hours and hours and I was like, wasted. So I guess, you know, tolerance is way down as a result of really just not drinking hardly at all over the past few months. But yeah, the Vegas trip was a little bit more tiring than expected because the day we were supposed to fly out, we got to the airport, to the Burbank airport for our flights and our flight was canceled upon arrival because of the winds in Vegas. It was just like so windy. I was seeing this like all over TikTok too about just like, I think planes having like a 40% success rate of like a successful landing and like they'd have to like pull back up because like they just, I don't know, the winds were interfering with the landing so I was tracking this and I had a suspicion that our flight was gonna get delayed hours and hours so we were already evaluating like okay do we just want to like drive so that we get in before like the sun sets and just you know try to cancel this flight or forego the flight because I'd rather just like be on the way and like know when I'm gonna get there versus sitting on the tarmac for like four hours which is what the flight before us was doing which is why I was concerned so Anyways, as we arrived, flight was canceled. It kind of solved that because then I got a refund, no questions asked. Honestly, that just made the choice easier. Drove there, drove home, pretty tired the past couple of days. I think that is enough for the intro, but I just wanted to catch you guys up on what has been up recently and yeah, what is to come. I think I already, yeah, I said, we're going to North Carolina Sunday and then we head to DC to visit my sister who just moved to DC. I think I'm gonna vlog my trip home. So that'll be a separate video. We're having a lovely breakfast outside. This is like the most random breakfast. I think my neighbor is outside. So I'm whispering like desperate times. We need to hit the grocery store today. I'm having like a frozen egg bite. It's been so long since I've whipped out everything but the bagel seasoning. And it's just a lovely day out here. So live in the moment, it's time for a fun little bedding switch up. Um, I have been just a white duvet girl for like, you know, the majority of my life, I feel like. If you've been watching my reset videos, then you know I've been um, setting out to do one big house project and one, or like one big upgrade and then one little upgrade per month. Um, so right now I'm going to do my uh, little upgrade, which is a slight bedding change up. I've had these same pillows for years and years. I love them, they're from Tonic Living. If you want really like high quality, dense, like yet comfortable, just like decorative pillows. But I just picked up this little duvet cover and the duvet insert is right here. It's just from West Elm. Basically my vision for this is it's just gonna be like a second comforter that kind of like goes on or like folds over on like the bottom half of the bed just to make things look more plush, like a little more height. I just feel like any catalogs and just like Pinterest photos and like all of my inspiration for bedding and just bedrooms in general, they always have like a double comforter plush vibe going on. So we're gonna see if I like this and I think I missed the return window to return it so we're gonna really hope I like this. I feel like I need to put this through the dryer to like fluff up. Honestly like name a more disheartening task than trying to put in a duvet by yourself. I don't know. 
All right, update. This is what it's looking like. I was worried the color was gonna be like too close to white and on camera it kind of does look close to white. It like matches perfectly. It's darker than I was worried about, so that's good. I've like played around with this a million ways. I'm still not sold on this. My sheets are like messy up there. That's part of it. Also definitely needs to be steamed or something. Am I gonna do that? Probably not. I'm gonna wait for that to just naturally work itself out. Here's another angle. We'll see. Update, played around with it. I think this looks way better. I was previously folding it like in half. So you couldn't really like see all the layers to it um, so I think I like this way better than like pulling the white one up on top of it that's gonna be it for now I also checked my order history and I bought two matching shams in this shade uh, so I just need to find those and then I'll put that on as well but I think this is like much more the look All right, next task of the day, you know, I've been procrastinating on this. As you can tell, it's gonna be lots of fun. It's cleaning out my closet. As you can see behind me, I ran out of clothes hangers a while ago because I need to do just like a full clean out. Um, so, so much stuff is just sitting on the ground. It's all like clean clothes. So I'm gonna go through and try to clean out some pieces that I'll end up listing on Poshmark probably or donating, but it's already a tricky thing. And like why I've avoided this is like, I know a lot of my pants especially are too tight at the moment, so it would make sense to like get rid of them, right? Well, I'm someone, maybe some of you guys relate to this, that like my body and weight and whatever have fluctuated like high and low so many times since like high school. I've had like at least like four like big shifts in that and so so a few years ago when I'd like progressively lost some weight just from being so active and like boxing all the time I got rid of all of my clothes that like would have fit me now so I've like bought new items which wasn't a big deal because I feel like this time around I've invested in like nicer pieces that are higher quality that will last longer versus like some of those pieces I did get rid of last time but this time around it's like okay my smaller pieces I could get rid of these are actually like high quality, nice pieces. So if I were to fit these again, it's like, I don't wanna rebuy these at full price when like these are like great brands I wanna keep. So that's just kind of my dilemma. And I feel like I am gonna hold on to like most items that fall into like that category of being a little small, but being something that like, if I fit into it, I would want to wear it today. So I'm gonna clean out and that's just kind of what I'm dealing with at the moment. It is done. We finally have the floor space back. This is just never gonna look good, but like all of my shoes are in different little boxes, different like sweats and activewear and things are in those bins. So I did do a good amount of cleaning out. I'm definitely not gonna have time to like list that on Poshmark before going out of town, but I will let you know when I do. But finally, this is cleaned out. It only took like two hours. hours later Giselle and I are heading out on a little date night trying somewhere new and heading to drop off on the way before or after um, one of our friends is having a baby like the first of our LA friends and just found out the gender so we got them a little something for that and we're gonna go drop it off but outfit of the night so this top is just from Amazon it's hard to tell because it's black but it's like a crinkly there you can kind of see it like has a little bit of a shine or a sheen to it um, I will have it linked on my Amazon storefront, but there's just like a few buttons here at the top. So the rest is just open. And then these jeans are from Abercrombie. You can see all my laundry in the back. Oh, screw it. We'll just show the whole messy room. This is the overall fit and we are going to head out and have a fun night. The next day, uh, we really liked the restaurant last night. The portions were small, but like great if you're people that like want to try a lot and like order a lot as it is and then end up like way too full like we do all the time. So didn't hate it, not the best value, but a really cute like vibey restaurant. It is now Friday and Giselle surprised me this morning with the cutest, it is suddenly so windy. Are we seeing this? What is happening? 
Is it like a tornado? What is happening? Anyways, Giselle surprised me with the cutest little breakfast setup. She's off playing tennis. I just filmed a QA. and a And now I think I'm just going to do some computer work. I need to get my taxes together today. Giselle and I leave on Sunday. And the tax situation's a mess. Compiling all my business receipts, all this stuff. It's bad news. Need to pack. Who knows what else? Live from the kitchen, a few hours later, several hours later, end of the day, I've just been filming lots of different things today. We are having my favorite soyaki salmon bowls for dinner. Um, I will find the recipe and link it in a little card here or in the description. We have been, thanks to Giselle's discovery, like on our air fryer game so much lately because we got these, where are they? I'll link these too, but just like these little parchment, like what do you call this? Whatever, you can see it. And it just goes in the base of the air fryer to keep everything from getting like stuck to um, just the base of it, which was always happening whenever we would cook meats and stuff. I am just beside myself at how juicy chicken is, the salmon we just made. Anyways, that's all I have to report on, but that's gonna be dinner. We've been trying to catch up on Love is Blind. Um, I was with Chelsea and what's his face? What's his name? Jimmy. Jimmy, for the longest time, like longer than most, I was like, no, like I get why she's feeling insecure. Like I'd be upset, blah, blah, blah. But now I'm like, this girl? I mean, we're all on the same page now, I think. Pick and fights left and right. They just broke up. I'm, I mean, about time. You can do quickly. So we're just gonna be chilling the rest of the night. What does a bartender over here have? Let me see. Oh. Ah! Oh no. Drowning. That's okay. It's, it's like on the Titanic. I recently watched Titanic for the first time. There's not room for both Rose and Jack. Just a suitcase in the middle of the kitchen. Nothing to see here. I'm really dreading tomorrow when we have to unpack everything and repack. All right, you guys, it is now Sunday. Yesterday was the most boring day of my life, just <laughs> getting all of my tag stuff together. And during that process, I'll just tell the story really quick before we're about to head to the airport. I was like going through mail I had set aside that was like 1099s, just like all the fun self-employed stuff that you like keep up with for your taxes and whatever. So I had set a lot of mail aside for this purpose to go through eventually when like I finally got around to doing it. But hand in hand with that, Giselle and I are not the best at like keeping up with our mail. Like we check it regularly, but we just, it's like nothing we ever need. It's all junk mail and like bills and stuff that we have already paid online that like I just need to turn on to like, you know, digital delivery only. So it's never anything important. And we just kind of like set it to the side, you know, whatever, we'll open it every couple of weeks kind of. But yesterday and going through this, I think at one point when we were like probably cleaning up like to have people over, we like took a pile of mail and put it somewhere I would never check for it. Like clearly we were trying to like clean out, like just make everything look nice and just shove things places. So I found this mail and I was going through a ton of it at once. So I don't know really like what timeline stack this certain important piece of mail was like in and it has no date on it. So I have no clue when this like is from. But finally getting to the point here is I got summoned for jury duty in the past. Like last week I was supposed to be there. <laughs> I don't know how like much notice they give you. I don't know if that came through the week before. They don't give you any notice. I don't know if it came through two months ago. Like I've never in my life had jury duty anywhere that I've lived. And I'm like, oh shoot. Well, like, first of all, valid excuse. We were out of town. We were in Vegas on like the day or whatever week I was supposed to report. And from my research online, I've gotten the vibe that it's like kind of easy to reschedule if you just like call, but you know, we're past time now. So then I'm Googling, what are the consequences? Am I going to jail? Like, you know, I'm, I don't want to pay the $1,500 fine or whatever it is. But I read that like, they'll, if you miss your first one, they'll just like send you another one in the mail. And then if you don't reply to that one, then you're like, you know, you're in trouble. So I'm like, do I call now and be like, hey, here's the situation, or do I just wait for the second one? I'm kind of leaning towards just waiting for the second one and like hoping for the best because if they're like, oh, come this week, well, maybe it's still easy to reschedule. I got the vibe. It's like not a big deal to just like tell them another day you want to come in. And I guess the deal with that is like, if you reschedule to a certain day, you have to appear and you have to like go through it all. But if not, if you're like summoned regularly, you have a call number and you like 
or a juror number and you like call in the night before and see if you have to report the next day or not. So technically getting jury duty the normal way, you may not have to appear at all and that still counts as your service. But if you call to like reschedule a certain day, you're for sure going. So it's just a lottery, right? I don't know what to do, but I'm leaning towards just like waiting out for the second one because as soon as I get back from this trip, I've got like contracts in place that are like due. Like I know everyone deals with this regardless of like any kind of job. I know like certain jobs, obviously if you have jury duty, they have to like pay you anyway, I think, right? But you know, it's a one man show around here. So I don't know. <laughs> like, so anyways, I just thought I would frantically tell you guys that as I am also frantically nervous about flying with Mia here in a little bit. So if any of you guys have experience with accidentally missing jury duty, let me know what are what are the repercussions well, how serious are we talking and i'm gonna wrap up this vlog right here thank you guys so much for watching um i believe i'm gonna pick up a vlog in north carolina and then in dc going to visit my sister who lives there um so if you have any dc recs or anything feel free to comment those or dm me over on instagram and that is all i will see all of you guys in my next video I'm